Hi, second and third graders. I'm Miss Dietz from Graham Hill Elementary, and the first time I saw you in Happy was um, when we read this book, Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday. We also played a game together called Dimes and Nickels, and I gave you a riddle to solve. And I'm wondering how many of you worked out the riddle? What do you think it is? Let's remember. Alexander has six coins in his pocket. The coins are worth 37 cents. What coins does he have? Were you able to solve it? I'm gonna show you how I solved it and you can let me know if you agree with me. Okay, so the way I thought about this was I thought about the number 37 and I thought, you know, I'm going to break that number into two numbers. I'm gonna say it's 30 because there's three tens and seven, because there's seven ones. And then I'm gonna think about this number seven. What coins could I use to make seven cents? Well, I could use seven pennies. Oh, but wait, Alexander only has six coins, so that won't work. How else could I make seven cents? Oh, I know, I could make seven cents with a nickel, which is worth five cents, and a penny and another penny. Five cents plus one cents plus one cents is seven cents. So I've just used three coins. I used a nickel and two pennies to equal seven cents. Now I'm gonna think about this 30. There's a lot of ways I could make 30 cents with coins. I could use 30 pennies, I could use a quarter and a nickel and that would be 30 cents. But I have three coins and I want six coins. So that means I need to make 30 cents using three coins. What three coins could I use to make 30 cents? Oh, I know. I could use three dimes. 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 30 cents. And now I have my six coins. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus five plus one plus one equals 37 cents. All right, did you solve that riddle? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. So the last time we saw each other, I taught you a game called Dimes and Nickels. How many of you played that game at home? Did you play it with your dog or your cat? maybe your stuffed animal. I played it with um, Happy, my dog, and Happy won. Do you remember? Yeah, the, go the goal of the game is to be as the closest to a dollar or 100 cents within seven turns. And Happy got 99 and I got 94. How much more does Happy need to get to a dollar? That's right, he only needs one more cent. The difference between happy score and a dollar is one cent. How much more do I need to get to a dollar? I could put 94 in my head, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I needed six more cents to get to a dollar. So we could say that happy score was one and my score was six. My score was six and Happy's was one. And in this game, you want the smaller score to be the winner. So we're gonna play again today and we're gonna add this extra step of finding the difference of seeing how much more you need in, to get to a dollar to figure out what your score is. My other dog, Charlie, was feeling jealous yesterday that he didn't get to play. So we're going to let Happy and Charlie play against each other. Do you think Happy will win again? I'm not sure, Charlie's pretty sneaky. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Here's Happy, here's Charlie, and they are ready to play dimes and nickels. Do you remember how to play? Happy says he does. Charlie, he's got his think face on. He's thinking about the strategies he's gonna use so to play this game, you need a dice. 
with, and if you don't have a dice, this is what you can do. Use a bowl, and in the bowl, put pieces of paper with the numbers one through six written on it, fold them in half, stick them in there. So I've got six pieces of paper in here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can grab a piece of paper, and oh, I got six. So if you don't have a dice, use the bowl method. I'm gonna use my dice and then I have my pad of paper because you also need to keep score. And on your pad of paper, you're gonna write the names of the players across the top. And then you're gonna write one through seven down the, down the side because you're gonna get seven turns. And then we're gonna add an extra step today. We're going to answer this question, how much more to get to one dollar? We're gonna figure out the difference and that will be your score. So let's get started. Okay, Happy and Charlie are ready to play. And so to re remember how we play this game, you roll the dice and you decide, do you want this to be worth di dimes? Oops, oh, char oh, Happy. Do you want this to be worth dimes, nickels, or pennies? So Charlie's gonna go first and he got a three. Charlie, do you want this to be three dimes worth 10, 20, 30? Or do you want it to be three nickels worth five, 10, 15? Or do you want it to be worth three pennies worth one, two, three? Charlie says he wants it to be worth three dimes. That's what I was thinking. So we're gonna put 30 cents for Charlie. All right, Happy, now it's your turn. What'd you get? You got a three, two. Are you gonna do the same thing as Charlie? Okay, good idea. All right, now it's Charlie's turn. Oh, Charlie got a three again. What are you gonna do, Charlie? Oh, you're saying nickels this time? Good idea, because if you did dimes, you'd get to a dollar way too fast. Three nickels is worth five, 10, 15. And what is 30 cents plus 15 cents? Five ones and four tenths. Okay, let's see if we can get something other than three this time. Six, Happy. What do you want to do? Six dimes? That'd be 60 cents. No? Pennies? Happy says he wants it to be worth six pennies. So Happy now has 36 cents. 36 cents. Okay. Charlie's turn. Five. What do you want to do, Charlie? Five dimes? That'd be five, 10, 15, 20, or no, sorry. Five dimes would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Too much, right? Nickels? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Still too much? You just want to do five pennies? Okay. Charlie says five pennies only. Thank you very much. 50 cents is what Charlie has because 45 plus 5 is 50. All right, Happy, what are you going to get? Happy got a six. What do you want to do, Happy? Six pennies? I was agreeing with that. Yes, that makes sense to me. So we're going to put six cents here. 36 plus six, hmm, what is this gonna be? Let's think, six ones plus six ones is 12. Hmm, but I can't put a 12 in the ones place. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the 10 out of that 12 and I'm gonna move that 10 over here. So now I, and then leave the two here from that 12. So now I have a one 10 here and three tens here. 10 plus three tens is four tens. So now we have 42 cents. Five is what you got, Charlie. You're at 50 cents and you still have, well, after this turn, you have three more turns. Pennies? Nickels? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25? Nickels? 25? Okay. I'm a little worried you're going to get too high, but you are a risk taker. What's 50 plus 25? That's right, those of you who know how to count by 25, you're saying it's 75 cents. Nice work. Okay. Happy, your turn. You got a two. Two dimes you wanna do? That'd be 20 cents. 10, 20, okay, 20 cents for happy. 42 plus 20. Let's count by tens. 42, 52, 62. 62 cents. 
Okay, Charlie, your turn, and you got a four. Hmm. Five, 10, 15, 20. Oh, that seems risky. Oh, you wanna do pennies? I agree. I think that's a good idea. Happy, are you getting worried? 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. 79 cents. Okay, Happy, you got a two. What do you wanna do? You want it to be nickels? Five, 10, that would give you 72 cents. You want it to be dimes, 10, 20? That would give you 82 cents. You wanna do that? Okay, that seems a little bit risky. I'm not sure about that. So 62 plus 210, 62, 72, 82. 82 cents. All right, two more turns, Charlie. Six. Definitely six ones, I agree. Six ones. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. 85 cents. Uh oh. I'm not, I don't know if you're going to be very close to a dollar, Charlie. You only have one more turn. Six. Happy, what do you want to do? Hmm? What do you want to do? You've got six here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, nope, that's too much. And dimes would definitely be too much. So I guess you're going to have to do pennies. What's 82 plus six? Well, you know that six plus two is, oh, oh, you're, oh, happy. You're kind of making a mess of the game. Here, let's, let's back up. Let's see, 82 plus six is 88 cents. Oh, you guys are really close. 85 to 88. Last roll, three. What should Charlie use? Should he use three cents? Three pennies, one, two, three. 85 plus three would be 88. Think he can go higher? What if he used fives? Five, 10, 15. What's 85 plus 15? Should he use nickels? Yes, he should. All right, Charlie, everybody's saying that you should use nickels. Let's see if they're right. 15 cents. What's 85 plus 15? Five plus five is 10. So I'm gonna bake another 10 over here. Here's a 10, here's a 10, and here's eight tens. Eight, nine, 10 tens. So 85 plus 15 is 100. Oh my goodness, Charlie, I can't believe you did it. You made a dollar. Uh-oh, Happy's feeling depressed. Happy, what are you gonna get? You got a four. What are you gonna do, Happy? Four pennies, that'd be four cents. Four dimes, that'd be too much, wouldn't it? What about four nickels? Five, 10, 15, 20. If he did 20 cents, what would he get? Eight. 80 plus 20, oh, happy, you went over. You're a dollar over, or I mean, eight cents over, a dollar. You have one dollar, eight cents. Hmm, so who is the winner then? Charlie is the winner. Nice work. So, what is the difference? How much more to a dollar? Well, that's easy for Charlie. How much more does he need to get to a dollar? He needs zero, his score is zero. How much was the difference between $1.08 and a dollar? Well, Happy went eight cents over. So his score is eight because he went eight cents above a dollar. So once you figure out your score, then you can play a second round and see who play who uh, what your score is for the second round and keep track of your score and keep track of who is winning that way. All right, that was fun. I hope you don't feel too bad about losing happy. All right, let's get back into our book. Last time I saw you, I read you the first part of Alexander who used to be rich last Sunday. Do you remember what happened in this book? Yeah, Alexander was upset because his brothers had money and he didn't. But then 
his grandparents came and they brought him some a dollar and Alexander thought about all the different things he could do with that dollar and he ended up going to the store where he bought 15 cents worth of gum he tried to get his friend David to buy his chewed up gum but David didn't want to would you do that would you buy chewed up gum I hope not so Alexander spent 15 cents already of his dollar today what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track of how much Alexander has spent because the riddle I'm going to give you today is I'm gonna ask you at the end of um, story time how much money does Alexander have left so I wrote down on my piece of paper that he has already spent 15 cents you can just write 15 down on your paper and keep track of how much Alexander spends and then we'll figure out how much does he have left all right last Sunday when I used to be rich I bet that I could hold my breath till 300 I bet that I could jump from the top of the stoop and land on my feet Shh, Nikki won Kathy is saying that's not a good idea Alexander you shouldn't do that it's not a good idea to make bets I bet that I could hide this purple marble in my hand and my mom would never guess which hand I was hiding it in I didn't know that moms made children pay goodbye another 15 cents so it sounds like Alexander has made some bad choices about his money and now he has lost 15 another 15 cents his first 15 cents he spent on gum his second 15 cents he lost on bets I absolutely was saving the rest of my money I positively was saving the rest of my money except that Eddie called me up and said that he would rent me his snake for an hour I always wanted to rent his snake for an hour goodbye 12 cents what about you? Would you ever want to rent somebody's pet snake? I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. I don't know if I like snakes. So how much did he spend on that snake? He spent 12 cents. So write that down, 12 cents. Anthony said, when I'm 99, I still won't have enough for a walkie talkie. Nick said, I'm too dumb to be let loose. That wasn't nice. My father said that there are certain words a boy can never say, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father fined me five cents each for saying them. Goodbye, dime. Uh-oh. Alexander got in trouble with his dad, and his dad made him pay ten cents. One dime. Ten cents. So I'm going to write down ten cents now. Alexander has been spending or losing a lot of his money. I don't know how much of that dollar he's gonna have left last Sunday when I used to be rich by accident I flushed three cents down the toilet a nickel fell through a crack when I walked on my hands I tried to get my nickel out with a butter knife and also my mother's scissors good by eight cents and the butter knife and the scissors oh no Sounds like Alexander lost three pennies and a nickel because he wasn't being very careful. Hmm, I'm gonna write eight cents down on my list. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I found this chocolate candy bar just sitting there. I rescued it from being melted and smushed, except the way I rescued it was from being, from being melted or smushed was that I ate it. How was I supposed to know it was Anthony's? Goodbye, 11 cents. Uh-oh, Anthony is angry with Alexander for eating his candy bar, so Alexander has to pay him 11 cents. Write that down. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money, but then Nick did a magic trick that made my pennies vanish in thin air the trick to bring them back, he hasn't learned yet. Goodbye, four cents. Well, that doesn't seem fair. Poor Alexander. Things are not going good for him, are they? 
write down four cents on your list because he's just lost some more money. Anthony said that even when I'm 199, I still won't have enough for a walkie-talkie. Nick said that they should lock me in a cage. My father said that there are certain things a boy can never kick, no matter how ratty and mean his brothers are being. My father made me pay five cents for kicking it. Goodbye, nickel. Uh-oh. Alexander is in trouble again with Dad. He had to pay five cents. So now, write down five cents on your list. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, Kathy, around the corner, had a garage sale. I positively only went to look. I looked at a half-melted candle. I needed that candle. I looked at a bear with one eye. I needed that bear. I looked at a deck of cards that was perfect, except for no seven of clubs and no two of diamonds. I didn't need that seven or that two. Goodbye, 20 cents. So Alexander went to Kathy's garage sale and bought a melted candle, a one-eyed bear, and a deck of cards that's missing two cards. And he paid 20 cents for it. Let's write that down, 20 cents. All right, we're gonna stop there. And now the question I have for you that I want you to solve while um, we wait for the next video is how much did Alexander spend it and lose? And does, how much money does he have left? Does he have any money left to save for that walkie-talkie? Will you take that list of, of amounts and see if you can figure out how much has Alexander spent? 15, 15, 12, 10, 8, 11, 4, 5, and 20. All right. Okay, everybody stand up. We're gonna do a movement break and get um, our blood moving and our brain ready to do some more learning. Uh, we're gonna count by tens, doing some arm stretches. We're gonna reach as high as we can above our heads. We're gonna count by tens, but we're not starting at zero. We're gonna start at six. If six is the first number, we say six, and then we're counting by tens, what's the second number gonna be? That's right, 16. So we're gonna count by tens and all the way to one, starting at six and ending at 106. Are you ready? Okay, get ready. Here we go. Six, 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, 96, 106. Excellent, okay, now we're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna punch backwards with our elbows, and we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna count by tens again. This time though, we're not gonna start at six, this time we're gonna start at, hmm, what should we start with? Eight, let's start with eight. So first number we're gonna say is eight, and then our second number is gonna be, right, 18. Okay, here we go. Eight, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98, 108. Whew, that was great. I'm feeling a lot looser. Give yourself a wiggle, get all the jiggles out, and let's get ready to do a quick image. Okay, we're gonna do a quick image, a lot like what we did last time, but I'm gonna give you different coins, and what your job is, is you're not gonna try to count piece by ones. You're gonna try to see what you can see and try to group those coins together and figure out how many coins do you see and then how much are the coins worth? So it's kind of a double, double question there. So I'm gonna give you a warm up and then we'll do two more after that. Okay, Charlie wants to join in too. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you three seconds for you to see the coins that are underneath this towel. And then you are going to think to yourself, what did I see, how many did I see, and what is it worth? Are you ready? Get your eyes ready, get your brains ready. You only have three seconds. Ready, set, Go. All right, now you're thinking to yourself, what did I just see? How many were there? How are they grouped? How much is it worth? Want a second look? Okay, here we go. Get ready, ready, set, go. Okay. If you have some paper and pencil with you, you can maybe jot down some notes to yourself to help you figure that out. Ready for a final look? Okay, what do we see here? 
That's right, we see pennies. How many do we see? Some of you might be saying to yourself, that kind of looks like a 10 frame. I see one, two, three, four, five on the top, and I see five on the bottom. Five plus five is 10. Or maybe some of you thought about it this way. Maybe you saw sets of two, and you thought two, four, six, eight, 10. There's 10 pennies. How much is 10 pennies worth? That's right, 10 cents. All right, ready for round two? Okay, here is round two. Eyes ready, brains ready? Ready, set, go. You're thinking about what did I just see? What coin was that? How many did I see? How much is that worth? Want a second look? Okay, here we go. Take a moment to use your piece of paper if you need to, to calculate up how much do you think these coins are worth. Here's your final look. Okay, what coin is this that we see? That's right, it's dimes, and dimes are worth? 10 cents, good job. And what do we notice about these dimes? That's right, they're in the same formation as the pennies. We see five on the top and five at the bottom. So that means there's how many dimes? 10 dimes, 10 dimes. Now, there's 10 dimes, but that's not how much it's worth, is it? Because we know that one dime is worth 10 cents, and there are 10 dimes. So how much is this all together then? Some of you might be thinking, well, I know that five dimes is worth 50 cents, and 50 cents plus 50 cents is 100 cents. Or maybe some of you are thinking that you're going to count them by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. What is 100 cents the same as? That's right, 100 cents is the same as $1. Here we have 10 dimes and it is $1. All right, nice work. Okay, ready for one more? All right, here is the last one. Get your eyes and your brains ready because I'm gonna give you three seconds to look. Ready, set, go. Take a moment to think about what you just saw. What coins did you see? How many coins did you see? What are those coins worth? Ready for your second look? Okay, ready, set, go. Take a moment to calculate that up. What do you think you have? How much money do I have now? Are you ready for your final look? Here you go. Well, I see these coins are laid out in 10 again. I recognize that because the last two quick images we're in 10, five on the top, five on the bottom, but these are not all the same coins. What kind of coins do we have here? We have dimes again, but here we have nickels. That's right, the dimes are worth 10 and the nickels are worth five. Hmm, how can we calculate how much this is worth? I hear some of you are saying, well, I know that the five dimes are worth 50 cents. So this row is worth 50 cents. How much is this row? Some of you might be thinking, well, I know that five, five times, or five times five is 25. Or maybe some of you counted it. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this row is worth 25 cents. We have 50 cents and 25 cents. How much is that? all together. I'm wondering how many of you are thinking that you know that 50 plus 20 is 70 and then add another five and to, to 70 and you get 75 cents. If you said 75 cents, you are right. These coins are worth 75 cents. Nice work. 
I had a lot of fun doing math with you today, and I hope you had fun too. Happy and Charlie had so much fun, they decided to go take a nap. We read more of Alexander, and we thought about how much money did he spend. I hope you wrote those amounts down so you can figure out how much did he spend and how much money does he have left. We also thought about the number 10 and how we can count by tens and how that can help us when we're adding and can also help us when we're counting up coins. I hope that you are getting a chance to go outside to play and I hope that you are staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye. -bye.